Welcome to the homework for lesson one. This is module six of first grade. Write your name here first. We're working on word problems and our process for solving them is always read it first, draw a tape diagram or a double tape diagram. Here's an example of one right here and label it and then write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. Fran donated 11 of her old books to the library. Darnell donated 8 of his old books to the library. How many more books did Fran donate than Darnell? So in our story we have two two characters, Fran and Darnell, and they don't they both donated books to the library and, and one of them donated more than the other. And we need to know exactly how many more. So we're comparing two different numbers or two different amounts. And just like if you're comparing the length of two, uh, say, like two pencils to see which one is longer, you'd hold them next to each other uh, with the same, you know, with the ends matched up so you could see which one stuck out longer than the other. And then we're going to just draw our tape diagram the same way. It's, it's going to look a lot like the one in the example, right, where you'd have a short pencil here and you'd have a longer pencil here. And how much longer is it? Well, it's that much longer. Like that. And so that's the kind of picture we're going to draw. So it just says... Fran donated 11 old books to the library. Okay, so here we go. There's a piece of tape. That's 11. F for Fran. Darnell don donated 8 of his old books. So 8 is less than 11, so 8 is going to be a shorter piece of tape. And here is our, so you can see it, that's our line where we're going to match up our endpoints. Eight. And then this is what we're trying to find out. So this one, 11, is more than the 8. And how much more is it? It's this much more. Right? And we could even call this, if we wanted to, we could call that M for the more. That's the more. And we don't know how much that is. And you'll look, if you look over here at our example which i really messed up over here same way here it's drawn as a question mark and we're not going to write that in because i want to leave that question mark there because that tell that's going to remind me that that's what it is i'm trying to figure out the more and this is when we're comparing two numbers the eight plus the more is going to be the same as right when it it's going to match up at this end with the 11 right here So how much is it? It's the difference between 8 and 11. And that means we get a, the, our number sentence is going to be a subtraction number sentence. 11 minus the 8. Which equals 3. I'm going to put a box or a circle around the 3 because just to remind me that, that that's what it was I was trying to solve for. I know about the 11. We knew about the 8 because those are already in our question. But the three is what I was trying to figure out. And now our sent answer statement. Uh, how many more books did Fran donate? Fran donated three more books. And you got to have the tape diagram. You got to have the number sentence and you got to have the answer statement. That's everything you got to have. All right. Now, that first one, I took my time really just making sure um, to be careful about the process. I'm going to go a little bit faster for the rest of them uh, because I don't want this video to be a half an hour long. So, if I go too fast, pause it, catch up. Or go back over the part that uh, that where if I went too fast, go back over that part again. It's just it's a video. During recess, seven students are reading books. Right, we're R D W in this. We're R D W. During recess, seven students are reading books. There were seventeen students playing on the playground. How many fewer students are reading books than playing on the playground? Okay, so we've got. Uh, Recess students some students are reading books some students are playing 
there are less students reading books and we have to find out how many how many fewer how many less all right so just draw we're just going to draw what it says there is right here so here seven students reading books we're just going to draw that on a piece of tape i need seven there it is and they're reading books so r for reading and that's it and 17 playing on the playground so we're going to start with the same endpoint here and the 17 is going to be longer than the 7 17 and they're playing how many fewer were reading books than playing on the playground so here we were trying to find out now instead of trying to find out the more we're trying to find out the fewer this is this missed this part here how much shorter how much shorter is this this part here than that so what's the difference between those two that's the question mark that's the question mark how 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 long is that piece that's the difference between the two of them so that that's the difference between 17 and 7 the difference is we're subtracting to find out what that is 17 minus the 7 and that's 10. Now you could look at this picture and you could also think, well, it's really, I could write this as 7 plus something equals 17, right? Because you can write, you can solve subtraction with addition. We've practiced that plenty of times. But um, it, that doesn't really make sense with the story. The story is that we know about the 7 and we know about the 17 and we're trying to find this missing piece. So it makes more sense to look, we're comparing the 7 and the 17 to find out the 10, right? That's where we want the box. So there were 10 fewer students. reading books and you just look at what's in the what's here what's in this how many fewer students are reading books than playing in the playground you know some teachers would call this turn the question around uh, just the words that you need for that sentence that you have to write that I just wrote that word the words that you need if you don't know how to spell those words or you're not sure what words to use look in that sentence that has the question mark in it Look, look at that last sentence. It's usually the last sentence. Sometimes you have a couple sentences of story or information. The last one will actually ask a question because it'll have a question mark at the end of it. Look at that sentence because that's the one that's going to have all the words you need to figure out what to write for your answer statement. Maria is 18 years old. Her brother Nikhil is 12 years old. How much older is Maria than her brother Nikhil? Okay, so Maria is 18. Here's, I'm going to put that right on a piece of tape. 18, and that's Maria. Nikhil is 12. Well, 12 is going to, we're going to start at the same endpoint. We want our endpoints to match up for our tape diagram. 12 is going to be shorter than 18 because 12 is less than 18. So let's just make it, it doesn't matter. We're not measuring this. So 12, just make it look shorter. And we'll call it 12. And that's uh, Nikhil, her brother. And we want to know how much older is Maria. So this is the... Right, and we want these to match up too. Because we're trying to find out exactly how much is the difference between them. That's what we're trying to find. And we can call that the O for the older. That's how much older. So we're trying to find the difference between 18 and 12. If this is the 18 and the 12 minus 12 and if you want you can see for the subtraction you can use number bonds think of the 12 10 and a 2 and you're going to think of 18 minus 10 
8, 8 minus the 2, 6, 6, And what is the six? The six is how much older Maria is. Maria is six years, not six. Maria is six years older. Six years older than Nikhil. It rained 14 days in the month of March. It rained 19 days in April. How many more days did it rain in April than in March? Okay, so it rained. It rained in April. It rained in March. I always try to summarize it a little bit just to make sure we know what numbers we're comparing. And we're comparing how many more it rained in April than it did in March. So here we go. We'll just draw. First thing first, just draw what it says there is. 15 days in the month of March. M for March, 15. There we go. Done. And it rained 19 days in April. So we want the pieces of tape to, the endpoints to line up. This is going to be April. And April's 19, so it's going to be longer than 15. There. And we need to know how many more days. So how many more would I need to add on to this 15 to make it the same as the 19? You could look at it that way if you're going to solve it with addition. But this is really, I'm thinking this is a subtraction problem. We're trying to find the difference between two numbers. So I'm going to write a subtraction number sentence. This is what we're trying to find out right here. And, you know, to solve this, you can think of the 15, that's 10 and 5, and you don't really have to write all of this out, but you can. 19, subtract the 10 first, is 9, and then to subtract the 5. It rained 4 more days in April. April showers.